In the first part of this screencast, we created an iPhone application using the UI tab controller template in Xcode. In this part of the screencast, we will create the same application, or close to the same application, using MonoDevelop and MonoTouch. MonoTouch, recently released by Novell, allows you to create iPhone applications using the .NET framework and the C-Sharp programming language. To start, we'll click File, New, Solution. We will choose iPhone Mono Touch Project. It will name the project Tab Bar Mono Touch. This mirrors the name that we created in the first part, which was Tab Bar Xcode. Click Forward and OK to create the solution. If you fully expand the created solution, you'll see underneath the C Sharp project called Tab Bar Mono Touch for assemblies that have been included. The first one is the Mono Touch library, then comes system.dll, system.core.dll, and system.xml.dll. You should recognize these from .NET. Main.css is our application file. This is the app delegate and the application class. We didn't look at these in any sort of detail over in the Xcode file. And we're not going to spend a whole lot of time here either. There's only one line of code that we'll really be editing in this file, and that's here where it says if you have defined a view, add it here. We'll be calling window.addSubView and we'll be changing navigation controller to tabbarcontroller.view. What we're interested in first is main window.xib. When I double click main window.xib, the same thing is going to happen that happened in Xcode when we did this task. When I double click on main window.xib, the main window nib is going to open in Interface Builder. The difference this time, of course, is that we have created a blank iPhone application. Therefore, what we're seeing is a blank window. This window is hooked up to the app delegate through an outlet named window. We can see that by highlighting over the app delegate's window outlet. You will see that the window highlights. That's about all this window is good for to us. We're going to be giving it a subview later from code, so I'm going to close this window. Instead, what we're going to work with is a UI tab bar controller, which we will drag and drop onto the doc document window out of the library. This tab bar controller has two tabs, much like the stock UI tab controller had in the Xcode example. The difference is that neither one of these tab controllers, in this case, has any default data or anything in them. It's just an empty area where you can place a view. So to get some of the default behavior back that we had before, we're going to add a view to the first tab. So there's a UI view down here that we can drag and drop. And also we'll add a sample label to the top and a UI text view down below, just so we get the feel that there is some text down there. What we're really concerned with in this stage, though, is the second tab where we had our subclass of UI table view controller that loaded three representations of saying hello. We're going to be doing the same thing with this tab in this application, so we can go ahead and delete this second view controller just like we did in the first app. While we're here though, let's customize the first tab item. You'll notice that there's a question mark for the picture and the text is item 1. If we expand the view controller, we'll find the tab bar item nested beneath. If we click this and go over to the inspector, the item attributes, we can change the identifier and in this case I'm going to set this to be favorites. You'll notice that the icon becomes a star and the text becomes favorites. This is a built-in default that is provided to us by the UI touch framework. So we can go ahead now at this point and add an outlet for this tab bar controller to our app delegate. What an outlet allows us to do is to hook up objects in Interface Builder that need to know about each other. And 
mono touch behind the scenes if you look there is a main window .xib .designer .cs file which is sort of like a code behind for our interface builder file and when we create outlets in interface builder some code will get added to this file which we'll take a look at in a second in app delegate what we want to do here is click on app delegate and if we look at the outlets list we'll just basically see the window outlet that we were looking at before we want to add a new outlet now the interesting thing here is in 10.6 in interface builder Apple has moved where you do this you used to be able to do this from from the inspector now it's in the library If you click on classes you get this big list of classes and up at the top because it's alphabetical order we'll find our app delegate and if we click on that down here there's a segmented control that has outlets in it and here is where we add outlets to our custom objects if we click the plus we can give this a name I'm going to call it tab bar controller and since interface builder is smart about outlets I like to give these an explicit type. Let me show you what happens when you leave it as ID. When I drag from tab bar controller to the application, it's going to allow me to associate this with any object because ID is dynamic. It's basically like object in C sharp. However, if I give this a type of UI tab bar controller and then try to drag it's only going to allow me to make this connection to a UI tab bar controller notice how the highlight is only happening when I highlight over something that matches the type so I can let go and that connection is made the app delegate now has an outlet called tab bar controller that points at the instance of tab bar controller that we've created in main window .xib. at this point we are done with interface builder for now and I'm going to save the file and we'll go back to mono develop now when we saved main window .xib, some code was added to main window .xib .designer .cs. What this code represents is the outlets that were defined for app delegate in Interface Builder. If you'll remember, those were window and tab bar controller. Window being the main window for the application, and tab bar controller being the tab bar controller instance that we created by dragging and dropping it from the library. Now that these are set up, in our main.cs, if you'll remember, we have this line that says window.add subview navigation controller.view. What this is referring to is in the stock Xcode templates, there's usually a navigation controller outlet. In our case, we don't have a navigation controller outlet, we have a tab bar controller outlet. If we change this line to say tab bar controller view and ran the application at this point which we will do it should build and it will build and launch into our iPhone simulator running the tabs that we just created in interface builder there's the tab remember we deleted the second tab so we only have one tab and it's selected and it has the default text that we expected to see so so far so good we've created a tab bar controller outlet in our app delegate and we have added its view to our window